Welcome back to the Kicks 96.5 studios. It's four minutes past the top of the hour. We love showcasing indie artists on the show. And this morning, we're heading to Idaho to chat with singer-songwriter Hannah Strumner. Hannah's self-titled album is out now. She just released a brand new single called White Sneakers on July 8th. We're excited to have Hannah on the show. First of all, Hannah, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much, Jeff. How are you? Excellent. Happy Monday to you. Well, researching you, Hannah, you've been writing music since you were six. You got serious with music after your type 1 diabetes diagnosis. How old were you when that happened? I was 17 when that happened. Um, It was in my senior year of high school. Oh, wow. (laughs) I mean, so that was like a year ago. I mean, but during COVID, you started doing live streams. Why did that start? Um, well, actually, that just, you know, I wanted to do something that I could spend my time, you know, doing during COVID. So I started streaming, but I thought it would just be for friends. And I thought that my friends would see it. But it turns out that multiple people from all over the world just began to join. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you're 18 still right now, right? I'm actually 21. Are you 21 now? Oh, okay. Yes, I am. Yes. So, okay, so it's been a whirlwind for four years. Because I was going to say, you've got a lot done in the, in yeah, the last yeah. uh, couple of years. Holy cow. I mean, doing the live streams, you said it. People from everywhere started watching you. You have over 200,000 Instagram followers. Yes. How has yes, this I- happened? Has this been because just the live streams? Um, It has. You know, I just did a lots of them and I just started gaining people on there and then I started being able to release other songs. I'd go to the studio in Boise and uh, I just kind of started recording songs and putting them out and, and people uh, really could relate to them. Yeah. Who are you working with? Do you have a PR team or anybody? Are you doing all this yourself? Do it all myself, yes. Wow. Uh, and uh, so, um, and I have my producer and, and he'll, you know, sometimes he'll give me some advice, but I just kind of do it all myself. Because who's doing your posters? Because your album cover's awesome. The White Sneakers poster is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, usually for that, you will either hire somebody to do it or, um, and uh, yeah, I really thought this time I wanted a, a poster for it because last time... Uh, for my album, I had a CD come out, so I, I thought that I could do something a little different. Yeah. Well, uh, if you go check out Hannah, if you go to her Instagram or to uh, YouTube and go look her up, Hannah Strumner, it's S-T-R-U-M-N-E-R, you, you had you had a video, and there was an Instagram effect where there were shoes on your head, and you could like hit it, and then you got white sneakers, which I don't know if you had it programmed to do that, but that, but that was sweet. How, how were you able to do that? Thank you. Um, I so I just I thought you know about something different. I thought it would be cool to have like a filter that was with the song. So I had gotten uh, someone to create that, and actually it was a fluke that the white sneakers popped on my head, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> See, it was meant to be. You were supposed to yeah, write a song called be. White Sneakers. Uh, it's funny, exactly. well, and it's cool at the same time. A lot of the videos, you're playing the ukulele yeah. on your music. Are you, I mean, but you're a trained guitarist, right? So I play ukulele, guitar, and piano. Um, you know, I started writing lots of songs on the piano and ukulele, and then I kind of branched out to the guitar um, because my uncle... He, he was a guitarist, so he really had inspired me to play. Yeah. Well, you you must enjoy the ukulele. I love it. I love it so much. It's it's such a unique instrument. Um, it's it's very, very pretty, but I love that it has a different sound uh, that you can distinguish and be able to tell compared to the guitar. Yeah, it does. I, I love the, the vibe it gives out. It's just a positive vibe that it does i don't oh, know what yeah. it is the hawaii sound or or what you Definitely. think you're on the beach when you hear the the ukulele well speaking of the beach where did you just vacation this summer um i had gone um to florida uh but 
uh, yeah, just to see some family. So it was it was really nice. It was really beautiful there. Yeah, because you had a couple of beach shots. I don't know if you were in California or in Florida. Yeah, it was it was really nice. I I have some family up there, so I visit them, and um, and it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Always fun when you're when you're sitting on the beach. You live in Boise, Idaho, but when we when we got in contact with you, Hannah, you said you love Wyoming. Oh yes, I do. I've always wanted to live there since I was younger, um, and I I must ask that you know I see a lot of pictures of like the little Scottish Highland cows or that are there. <laughs> um, I don't know if you see them often, but that's not really. really cute. No, oh, we got we got plenty ah. of cows though. Uh, okay. every, everywhere else. We got plenty of land. I lived in Boise for a couple of years back in the early 2000s. It's a great city. It's probably awesome. grown by leaps and bounds in the last 20 years, but uh, just like everywhere else. But the weather's a lot nicer in Boise. Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting because it's been hot here. Really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're not used to it, that that kind of heat. Well, it's di- it's a different type of heat. Like even compared to California, there's something about it that's a lot different. You know, it feels warmer to me. <laughs> yeah, everyone's dying of heat right now. <laughs> Go check her out, Hannah Strumner. She's at hannahstrumner dot com. She's on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter. Go to YouTube. Check out all of her stuff. You can go to Spotify. Her uh, debut self titled album is out now, and her brand new single "White Sneakers" is also out. And you're going to hear it uh, in just. Uh, a couple of minutes. So, are you a full time musician now? Uh, yes, I do music full time, and I also do some college as well. So, I I do both. Are you doing it online, or are you going to Boise State, or? Um, I'm doing it all online, so uh, it kind of helps be more flexible with doing music. But uh, first, I didn't do it online, but then once I started being more into it i then started to do all my school online yeah you're very interactive online with your fans you're an attractive woman how is it online is it is is there a bunch of creeps online have you had a positive experience tell us i've had a lot of positive uh online and you know i i think it's i think it's really cool because i'm able to reach so many different people you know from all over the world and i think that's that's really cool because you know usually um you know before i i wasn't really able to do that so when i discovered live streaming it, it really it was really neat to see how many people from all over was watching yeah and they're watching uh definitely go check her out she does all kinds of live streams it's funny because I, I i read somewhere when i was looking you up you, you said your mom like woke up and was looking for you one night and you were in your closet doing a live stream and she couldn't find you in the house oh yeah oh yeah that's true that did happen i i've done that i've done that a few times where she's looking for me and i I was in my closet, but <laughs> so. trying to be quiet, trying not to wake up the rest of the house. Exactly, exactly. Well, at least you're considerate. My kids don't care; they just make noise at, <laughs> at all hours of the day. Uh, you're 21 now. Congratulations! Your self-titled album is out. You know, like a year right now. Yes. When you were 17 and got diagnosed, could you could you imagine what was your timeline? Where are you at? Where you thought you'd be? Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm really thankful to be able to be doing this. And, um, you know, I feel like I, I through the diagnosis, you know, I look and I think, wow, you know, if it wasn't for going through that, I don't think I would have been as serious with this. So, you know, sometimes things that are bad, turning them into good, uh, you know, can be, can be really awesome. So, um, but I'm, I'm very thankful to be at this point. Yeah. Well, you're, you're very positive, so oh, thank you, you've you. been staying positive through all of us, so that, that, that always helps. We played earlier in the show, Are You Ready to Let Go, featuring Sam Henry, which is off your uh, self-titled album. Who's Sam, or where'd you meet him? Um, well, he's a, he's a songwriter also that, uh, and, and a singer that's in Idaho, and, you know, sometimes you kind of try to connect with other songwriters and, and singers, and I just had found him, and I thought, well, you know, I have this song called Are You Ready to Let Go, and it's a duet. Would you like to sing in it? And he said yes. So we went to the studio, and we had recorded, and we um, 
song sounded amazing with him singing in it. So I think I think our voices work good together. Oh yeah, it's a great song. We played it earlier. Go to YouTube uh, and look it up. You can watch the video for it. it. Looks like you had fun shooting the video. Definitely, it was seventeen degrees out, so it was really oh, cold geez. out. <laughs> it was in the winter. It was in the middle of winter when you shot that. Yeah. Thing. Yes, it was. We were actually hoping that a snowstorm wouldn't come in, but luckily nothing nothing happened. So uh, it happened like two days before, and then it kind of started to melt, and uh, so we were pretty we we're pretty lucky there. Yeah. So with the new single "White Snickers," it just came out like ten days ago, nine days ago. New music coming? Is did we just do this song? What's happening? Uh, new music is in the works. Uh, I've been working on some demos, and uh, I've been trying to do different different types of uh, stories and songs. So I, I'm pretty excited about it for sure. Yeah. What? Well, uh, how's your dog Taco? Taco's doing good. He he's definitely uh, well. Actually, our dog Nugget. She gets into mischief. She's always <laughs> getting into something. Before this, she actually was going into my room, so I had to, I had to tell her to go out, but um, she's adventurous. Yeah. Don't eat my socks. The, the White exactly. Snickers, or White Snickers, White Sneakers lyric video. This is awesome. Who did this? Well, I had had somebody uh, that wanted to remain anonymous, but they, they had done it, and um, it was it was really neat because... I never have had somebody draw something like that accurately to how I look. And so <laughs> it, was, it was really cool, and, and it told a story. It was like almost like a music video, but with lyrics, and, and it was drawn. So Yeah, it's an awesome lyric video. Go check it out. It's also on YouTube. Go look up White Sneakers. The lyric video is out now. And, and I mean, it had to take them forever. Yeah, you know, I mean, it didn't take them. I, I think it took them like probably a month maybe but it was yeah. it was pretty cool so i i was surprised how how good it had ended up looking i mean it, it looks it, I, I love it so much oh it looks great i mean the the artistry is professional yeah and it looks like you it tells the story of the song uh it's impressive that's for oh, sure yeah. white sneakers tell us about the song hannah um, so it's basically about when you like somebody, but you're not sure if they like you as well. Um, so I kind of wanted to do that because I feel like everyone has, or a lot of people have felt that way. You know, you don't know if that person likes you or not. So I had, I had created that song and I, I thought it was a really cool, uh, sound, you know, with the chords and the guitar and, um, so it was really cool to make. Nice. Well, uh, are we going to see a regular video, just sticking with the lyric video? What's going on? Um, for now, the lyric video, but um, there may be eventually future music videos and uh, for other songs. Uh, but for that one, I felt like the lyric video was really able to tell a story through the so with the song, and, and so... Uh, but, you know, maybe one day there'll be a White Sneakers uh, music video. Well, if you go to YouTube or Instagram, it, it's funny. You, you went around your house making like a homemade video for White yeah. Sneakers. So she almost made a, a video for it uh, before the yeah. premiere of the song. <laughs> and that is your house. Yeah. So um, I and then I also filmed kind of around like in a park and just different different places uh, but it was really fun i you know i i've seen people do you know tiktok videos and stuff and i thought you know i'm gonna try that as well so my mom was filming it, and it was it was pretty cool yeah wow well more music coming uh, what's next do we know um for now it's like secret but um i i really am excited for for everyone to hear the the new songs and i have a lot of songs that i did record and um so i i can't wait for for people to hear everything and uh, you know i try to kind of experiment either with different uh, instruments and add something different um so I'm, I'm pretty pretty excited especially for one specific song that has has uh, a totally different vibe to it 
Nice. Where are we going to be in five years? Opening for Taylor Swift? Oh, that would be so cool. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I hope to be doing music and, and uh, performing and uh, doing, you know, still maybe live streaming and putting out lots of music. I, I really love it very much, and I feel like that would be something that I really want to continue to do uh, as a career. Yeah, for sure. When's the next live stream? You know, I, I was thinking about that. I, definitely today. I, I love doing live streams, so uh, definitely today. Maybe in the afternoon I'll do one. Nice. Go and check her out. Go and follow her. Hannah Strumner. She's at hannahstrumner.com. Go to Instagram and uh, follow her there. She's also on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify. Her debut self-titled album is out now. And go and support the brand-new single called White Sneakers. Well, Hannah, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much, Jeff, for having me on. And here it is. It's White Sneakers. It's Hannah Strumner. It's Kix 96.5.